Uh, sure, I, you know, it's our first RMAC title, uh, I believe, and uh, you know, we I, we had I think eight guys medal today, third or better, and so I'm I'm very happy uh, with the team. Right. Well, that's that's exactly what you have to do. We'll celebrate it. Uh, I mean, these three guys. You know, Nolan came in here as a sixth seed. He's battled some. We wrestled a lot of D1 at the beginning of the year, and uh, he's battled some injuries. Both of these guys, all three of them, have battled injuries. But um, anyway, that was sixth seed to winning it. I think he majored or teched everybody except for in the finals, and that was just by one point. Jake uh, seated number one and kind of just won it, you know, but that's always a good thing because those are tough, tough, tough kids. And Joe ended up beating, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jacob Mitchell, who was ranked previously. He was runner-up for us, actually, two years ago at CBU, but he, I think he handled him pretty well. And, uh, not, no, not personal, but, uh, of course, you know, we want to, uh, you know, he's wrestling for somebody else, and he's, he's highly touted. And, of course, this guy's done very well this year. He's placed in two major D1 tournaments, Midlands and Las Vegas, and I, you know, and he's wrestled some big guys and some very talented guys, and so I, I kind of gave the nods to him beforehand. But no, it was, it was a good win though because he, he's he's really high, he's highly respected in D2. Man, this is just a wonderful a wonderful opportunity. This is my first time being here. I think Jake and maybe Joe have been here before, but it's just really humbling. Like I said. To, um, to Gabe earlier, um, it's just really or Gary. I'm sorry. Earlier, it's just humbling to be in the where you know great wrestlers have been here, performed, they train here. Um, never been to the OTC, so it adds a lot of excitement. It adds that you know fire when I go out there and wrestle. It's it's just something that you'll never get again. You know, it's it's an experience. So you got to take it in the moment. And you got to run with it. So, thank you. No, yeah, I don't. We you know. In the past, we kind of talked about that before, but, you know, we train hard. We, we do everything we need to be doing. We run, you know, there's, we're not worried about that, you know, and uh, it, it didn't affect us, I don't think, whatsoever, and we're ready to, yes, sir, yeah, I did. It was the, yep. Um. I think overall it's a 398 right now. I got an A minus in English uh, my fresh first semester, um, but I'm majoring in criminal justice and I picked up a philosophy, philosophy minor this uh, uh, semester. And it's uh, all, all the professors at Cal Baptist are wonderful. They really care about how you do, and they you know if you make if you just show them that you're ready to put in the effort, then you know they're gonna help. They're gonna help, and uh, it's just it's, you can't get a better education than at Cal Baptist. Yeah, I think I think as you know, an organization for our Mac to put something on like this was tremendous. It was it was awesome. Uh, just being able to, I've been here a couple times, and just being able to get back in the room with my team and you know roll with them and and be able to go out there and we even eat uh, breakfast in the in the cafeteria, which cafeteria here, if any, don't, nobody knows, it's pretty good. So uh, I mean, it was it was a, honestly it was a great experience. You know, we didn't have to take too much time off school because it was on a Sunday. So we just traveled one day and, and got used to the, you know the the climate, but or, you know the altitude. But I didn't really notice that too much because um, he makes us do sprints. But um, it was it was it, honestly it was it was an awesome experience. Uh, I would love to do it again. You know, I still have another year, and I think uh, as an organization, RMAC did an amazing job of having us go out of the tunnel and just kind of putting that little edge to wrestling that I think we all need. You know, to get fans coming, to get everybody interested. So. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota. So I, this is this is this is this is warm. I, yeah, yeah. We was the, this is warm. You know, three Midwestern guys. Yeah, yeah. So this is warm actually. He will. He, I need to. He's no, no. <laughs> no, no. He's a good driver. Um, yeah, I expected a tough match. Um, I don't know. These guys could speak for themselves about the elevation. I was gasping for every breath out there. Um, but uh, but it was a good experience. Sprints, I guess. Yeah. Well, they're always doing their sprints. I'm trying to get out and <laughs> take injury time during the sprints. But <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, it was a it was a good experience. I mean, he's tough. He's a big guy. He knows how to move. He knows how to wrestle. I just uh, I knew I'd capitalize on opportunities where I'd be a little little slicker, a little quicker, and just uh, just pick him up and then you know hold him off when I needed to and get the win. Uh, 
It's not bad. Um, yeah, I forgot about it. I was going to take it off. <laughs> uh, that's a little cut, but if I don't cover it up, I'll be bleeding all over the place and not too fun to interview. <laughs> I was thinking that it was going to happen. Um, you know, three of those guys lost real close matches to in the semis. So our 33-pounder actually lost a very close match. Uh, probably could have been there. The 41-pounder was actually beating the kid who was in the finals of the Nationals last year with like 20 seconds left and got beat. And then Brady almost won at 157. And you never know what to expect from Bradford Garrell, but he uh, he, uh, <laughs> he usually competes pretty well. But I, I you, you never take him out. So I, I was expecting Brady and Peter. And Peter, be, actually, we had wins over those two guys at 57 and 41. And uh, so... And, they, and they've battled really tough competition through most of the year. So. He, he needs to borrow some money. He was going to ask me if I need to. <laughs> Just don't ask me. <laughs> I'd like to, can I say one more thing? Um, just touching more on what Jake said, we really appreciate what you guys, th this tournament, how, what you guys did. It's it's special. It's it, it's really motivating to have a tournament like this and to, you know, just have this victory. It's it's nice. And you guys, to bring it to the Olympic Training Center, it's just it's something special. So just want to say the whole team that we appreciate it. And that, uh, yeah. Eric, I know you had a lot to do with this, too, and bringing it here. And, yeah, I, I want to personally thank you, too. It really, I think it turned out really well. And the guys here and the, fan, and the parents really enjoyed being on this campus.